Hello and welcome everybody to another video on Rise of Civilizations. Today we're going to be talking about a spending guide and four areas in particular. So gems being one, resources being another, also the expedition shop, and then finally actual real cash. So we're going to talk about four different things that you can do to speed up your progress, to make it easier when you're leveling your stuff up, but also just to be a little bit more efficient in how you're spending your real life money if that's what you're doing. Uh, and again, free to play to me is anybody that spends anywhere between nothing to 200 bucks. That's about free to play. Anything above that, you start to get into the dolphin territory. And then finally, a couple thousand bucks and up as a whale. So um, I'm kind of in between all that. I've probably put a total of decent chunk of money into it, but I'm definitely not a whale by any means. But I've been very efficient on the way I have uh, leveled my town up, I've leveled my city up, um, the way I've trained my troops, the way I've spent my gems, the way I've acquired speed ups and resources. I've been very efficient for the most part. Sometimes I'm in a bind and I've got to do something inefficient, but I'd say 90% plus of the time I've really uh, been careful with how I've spent my resources because ultimately resources are the name of the game when it comes to leveling everything up, to getting to where you want to be um, from a war perspective, uh, just trying to get ready for Ark of Osiris and um, Kingdom vs. Kingdom when that comes out, uh, just being very efficient. So that's the name of the game here. That's the point of this video, uh, and I'm going to get right into it. So uh, first thing I wanted to go over were actual resources, and there's a couple ways to really efficiently use your resources. Um, one that comes to mind, obviously, is being the courier shop, <clears throat> and right now, if we go to the courier shop, it says that it's it's not available. This courier shop can pop up two, three, or four times a day, depending on how active you are in the game. Uh, I'm going to make this pop up uh, because I know how to do it. So the way to make it pop up, and when you look, at, you read the message, it says, you heard that building, training troops, defeating barbarians makes it come back sooner. Well, my troops are about done here, so let me speed up some of these troops. And you'll be able to see it come back up. And I've burned through a lot of my speed ups for, uh, for Ark of Osiris, so that's why I'm missing a bunch of stuff here. And I'll tell you why I'm doing 400 here in just a second as well. Oh, that didn't work. Turn me into a liar. Let's speed this up really quick. All right, let's see if this does it. So hopefully this will trigger the courier shop. There it is. Okay. Let me train these real quick too. All right, so the trigger, the courier shop is now triggered. The reason it did that is because I sped up some of my troops. Um, same thing would happen with a building, uh, or if you were farming barbarians a, a good chunk of the time, and that would also trigger it. Um, <clears throat> but this is how you get it multiple times per day. Otherwise, I think you get it about twice per day uh, at the 12-hour and zero-hour transitions inside of your, your respective kingdom. Uh, if you speed up, uh, finish buildings, finish troops, kill barbs, it'll add a third and a fourth chance. So this is a really good one to, to showcase how to spend your resources. So anytime you can get free resources, which is what you see on the wood and the second tile for this, well, not second tile, but third and fourth tiles, those are basically free resources. You're spending 135,000 food to get 150,000 wood. That's 15,000 free resources. 45,000 for 50,000, again, free resources, I'll take that. Now, when it gets to the, the stone and the gold, um, it just depends on what you need. If you know that you've got a big upgrade coming up and you need stone, I'd probably go for the, the stone that uses resources. I definitely would not use it with gems unless it is 90% or above, which I'll go into later. Um, so for that, I'm gonna skip that second tile. Same thing for the first one, it's not 90%. I'm going to go ahead and skip it. And that's the resource row. Second row is speed ups. So anything that is uh, resource purchased, I'm going to buy it. 
heal, general, building, research, troop, whatever it is. If it's a resource purchase, I'm going to buy it because there's the only way you get those is through packs, through farming barbs, through doing forts, activities that spend your action points. This is an uh, action point free way to get these resources and speed ups are certainly a resource especially towards a later game because these are 17 day 20 day 40 day 120 day uh, researches and buildings so we need to get as many resources as we can in the speed up department so that's what I spend my resources on there now there isn't any resource purchasable items here sometimes I will buy in the second row anything that's 70 percent and above because it's a better value than you can get in the VIP shop for spending gems so Again, I'll get into the gem portion of it in a little bit, but anything above 70%, I'll also buy using gems here on the second row. If it's a resource purchase, I'll buy it. Uh, third row, again, these are your boosts for farming or for uh, any kind of boost. So uh, soldiers uh, in your army, it's an army boost um, setup. You've got uh, farming resources, things like that. I generally don't touch these unless it's a 24-hour discounted tile, which we don't have any on the third row here. Maybe we'll get one on the free refresh. Um, I'll buy them then, but otherwise, if it's a resource purchase, 24-hour, um, I'll get it. Otherwise, I don't do it. Um, fourth row, these are your your tiles. Your um, There's not really sculptures. I've never seen a sculpture down here, but um, stars, uh, XP tomes, things like that. This is a good one to do, too, for your resources. You can never have too many of these stars because there's 20 not well 28 plus the six new ones so 34 commanders in the game there's way more stars that you're going to need uh, so anything from a resource standpoint i buy it if it's a uh, epic or legendary star if it's um if it's uh, elite or advanced don't touch it don't worry about it you're going to have a thousand of those and not know what to do with them um, I usually don't touch any of the triple stars because the gems tend to be too expensive. Very rarely will you see these by, by resource purchase. So let's do our free uh, refresh. And again, so the first tile there, I'm not going to spend 135 food to get 50,000 gold. I've got way too much gold as it is, although that will get spent later in the game for sure. Um, I even don't really go after the 90% off golds either. I just don't need the gold right now. Um, right now, it's all about food, wood, and stone. So um, I will get all those types of things, but that top row is a terrible pull for me. There's no food, there's no wood, and the only resource purchasable things are losing me resources. So I don't want to purchase that. Uh, same thing for the second row, kind of a bad pull. No, well, there's a 70% off uh, 10 hour. Yeah, I'll probably get that. So I'll go ahead and get that. Um, anything else? 80% is usually the highest I've ever seen in that second row. So 70 or 80, it's really up to you how you want to do it. Um, 50 and below, you can get a better deal in the VIP shop. If you need some more research ones or some more training ones, I would go after that. Um, third row, again, so here we go. We got a couple 24-hour boosts. This is what I use to get our, our daily quest chest, to get our gold key, um, legendary sculpture, and XP tomes and all that good stuff. So I'm going to purchase these two. They end up being pretty well worth it. Uh, and then at the bottom, I purchase any experience stuff. There's, I need so much experience. I buy it, no questions asked. Uh, I buy that and uh, I move right on. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of there. I've, I've fulfilled the courier shop for right now. It'll probably come up in another couple hours as some of my buildings finish or I'm killing barbs if there's an event or something like that. Um, let's move on to the VIP shop for resources. So here's the VIP shop. Now every week... In the top left, you see it refreshes uh, in a day and six hours. Um, this set of options refreshes, and you can get 50, 60, 100, whatever the total allows you to be. The percentages do change. Uh, I've seen the action recovery points at 60%, at 40%, 50%. So pay attention to that. But anything with a resource, I'm going to buy it. Just because, again, these are things that are hard to come by in the game. Resources are not that hard to come by. It's just time taken. Uh, farming or uh, you know killing other um, other player cities to, to to loot their or pillage their stuff so um, I can get that stuff whereas I can't go and say I need a hundred <laughs> I need a hundred action point um, potions it's not that easy to go and get so I always buy these things so action point recovery potions are, are bought I generally tend to buy all the speed up 
uh, anything that's uh, resource related, I definitely do. Um, the stars, I do that as well, and I also buy the, the legendary stars too. So there's four items that are resource based, the action point recovery, five minute uh, speed ups, and then the uh, epic stars and the legendary stars. Those are the things that I buy every single time. And then I tend to also buy the tomes of knowledge because again, those are just something that you're, you're never gonna get too many of. I mean, you need XP tomes to level up your legendary commanders especially. Um, and then same thing with your epic commanders. You just need the XP to get those things maxed out. Um, same thing with <clears throat> the 60 minute and the eight hour speed ups. I will buy those on gems, but I'll go over that stuff later. But everything else is gem related. So you only got the four items for, for purchase on resources, but I would always buy those every single time they refresh once a week. The next thing I'm going to talk about is building priority using your resources. So your city hall, number one priority. You need to keep that leveling up um, using speed rush, getting it to the point uh, clan hall or city hall 21 to get your T4 unlocked. And then secondly, to get it to city hall 22 so you can get the fifth uh, up here on the, the right side of the, the screen, the, your fifth army uh, that you can that you can go ahead and use. Getting that fifth army is fantastic, especially for uh, farming, obviously for war and, and Ark of Osiris, you need those extra army capacities to bring troops to the field and to farm. Uh, you wanna be using that uh, during for an alliance uh, farm um, spot. So if you have food, wood, stone, gold, if it's Mightiest Governor event, uh, you want to go ahead and use those effectively. And the, and the best way to do that is to sink all your resources into doing your city hall. Um, I've had that city hall either leveling or getting the requirements for leveling it from the first day. And I've been playing this server for 58 days. So every day I've either had the clan hall upgrading or I've had the, the prerequisites upgrading to get that, that city hall up. So uh, first priority, 100%, at least until you get to level 24. Um, Next, I would say is the uh, academy because you need a high-level academy to continue your researches. You want that you want that academy researching all the time. I would also say your uh, your troop building, uh, your troop buildings down here. I would want those maxed out as much as possible because the more troops you can train at a time, the faster it'll be. Anytime you're upgrading those, I would spend my speed ups on those three items particularly so that you can keep going down the path. Um, the resource buildings. You, you want to use those as your other builder is the way I've done it. So just use the other builder that you've got extra when you're not upgrading those other primary buildings as the one to upgrade all of your resource buildings. Eventually it'll catch up and be worthwhile. Um, but the, until you get to about the 20, the level 20 range on these mines, um, the increment resource gain is, is a lot lower than what you're spending on the actual mine. So, um, that's, so that's resources. Again, your primary is going to be your courier shop. Every every time it pops up, whether you can do it yourself or whether it just pops up by time, you want to use your resources in the, the courier shop. You want to go into the VIP shop once a week and make sure that you buy the resource purchasable items. And then thirdly, the building priority, make sure that you are doing the city hall, the academy, the troop buildings. Uh, and then finally, hospital is another good one, but uh, your resource buildings need to be using one of your building slots. All right, so let's move on to gems. So gem spending guide is kind of the, the buzzword right now when it comes to uh, how do I use my gems? You get gems by you know completing events. You get gems by killing barbarians using a peacekeeping um, commander. You get gems by upgrading your city hall through the quest line. There's tons of ways to get gems without spending a dime. Um, when you spend money too, you will get gems for usually the packs that you buy. Uh, so that stuff can kind of stack up quite quickly and people want to know how to use their gems effectively. At the beginning, the most effective way that I know of to use gems and the way that I did it was to get to VIP 10 as quickly as possible. And the first step is to get to VIP 6 because that's going to un unlock your, your second builder. So right there, that third option where it says new, your second building queue is permanently unlocked. That's first priority. Now when you do that, you're going to be getting elite commander sculptures, which again are completely <laughs> completely worthless once you get about a week into the game. So getting to VIP 7, which is the next step, will get you one 
epic sculpture per day, which is definitely worthwhile. And again, your tomes of knowledge will definitely help as well when you stack those up. Uh, resources are always good too. Then from there, your next step is VIP 10. So six, seven, and then 10. This is how I would spend your gems. So the reason I say that, once you get to VIP 10, you get a legendary sculpture every day and you get a golden key. Silver keys are hit or miss as far as whether they're worthwhile. Generally, they're not. But golden keys give you the chance to get your legendary commanders, your epic commander sculptures, um, higher resources and tomes when it comes to the amount per unit that you get. Um, you just get better uh, loot from golden keys. So you get one of those golden keys a day. You get a legendary sculpture per day. That's the way to go for me. First and foremost, if you're going to be spending a lot of time in the game and you plan on playing for a while, if you don't plan on playing a while or you're just kind of stopping in, use your gems for other things and that will go through. But for, for somebody who wants to play the game every day or every other day, specifically every day, and play for an extended period of time, I would certainly use VIP as your primary gem sync until you hit level 10. Okay, So after the, the VIP... I would go to the courier and again the courier I kind of hinted at it earlier whenever we were going through the resource portion if it's a 90% off on the top row and it is food wood or stone and it costs gems I'd buy it uh, generally it's either going to be 11 or 27 gems to get a big chunk of resources definitely worth it in my opinion and definitely less expensive than if you were to go into the VIP shop which is where we'll go next. Uh, second row, same thing, 70 or 80% over for any of the speed ups, I will buy it. 80% um, definitely, 70%, sometimes it's a toss up. Uh, if it's a general, like this one here that I bought last time, uh, a general speed up that I could use for anything, I usually buy it because it's got four times the value. You can use it for research, uh, troops, uh, building or just general um, general speed ups and health. So you got a lot of options for the general ones. Uh, third one, again, I usually just do the 24-hour ones. Uh, if there's a troop one, sometimes if I'm out, I'll, I'll grab it. But usually I've, I've got at least a few of those um, sitting in the bank waiting for me to use. So no, no big deal there. Uh, for gems on the bottom row, I don't usually use gems on the bottom row because it's four to 500 per star usually for a legendary star, uh, at least. Sometimes it's higher. And then same thing for epic. It's a couple hundred gems for one star. You just get enough of those whenever you're doing events, whenever you're doing uh, purchase through the resources. I just don't want to waste my gems on that. I can use those gems for something else. So I, I that's how I do the courier portion of the gem guide. Um, one tip, never, ever, ever, ever speed up or instantly buy with gems. So for instance, if I were to, let me see if it'll let me do it. Okay, so this hospital's level 11 going to level 12. This would cost me 240 food, wood, and 120 stone, 1,000, and about four hours of, of time, which after helps will probably be about two hours. The cost of the instant button, the orange button, is 100%. And when I say that, you could buy speed ups to speed up without any alliance help for that four hours at a 50% discount in the courier shop, in the VIP shop, any anywhere really, and of course you can loot them as well. The instant button is a hundred percent cost. It's whatever the total cost of that um, time is. So it's never good to instant research, instant build, instant train, instant heal. Um, and I'm glad they put in the button to make sure that you know that you're pressing the gem button because I've spent thousands of gems on accident instantly healing when I didn't need to do that or instantly building when I didn't mean to do that. So um, definitely never do that. Um, VIP shop, again, um, the other thing to do with the gems is to actually buy stuff in the, in the VIP shop itself. Um, I usually get all the experience tomes because again, I, I need them in the worst way to get my commanders up and commanders are half the battle. Commanders and troop count. <laughs> that's, your, that's your bread and butter when it comes to uh, fighting in the field, attacking cities, all that stuff. The better those are, the better you're going to be, the less troops you're going to lose, the less resources you're going to use to heal, all that stuff. So the more experienced tomes that I can get my primary commanders leveled up so that way I can get the talents higher, I'm going to spend the gems on that. And with them being 50% off, 60% off sometimes I've seen, um, 
I will always do that. Uh, same thing for uh, the speed ups. So I'll do the eight hour and 60 minute or one hour speed ups. Because again, you can just never have too many of those, especially once you get to the higher levels. It's just a lot of time uh, spent on upgrading and researching and everything that you're doing in the game. Speed ups are critical <laughs> to get to where you want to be unless you want to be one year into the game and be VIP 6, 7 and um, City Hall like 18. <laughs> Um, so I mean, you, you need you need speed ups to get to where you want to be, especially earlier in the game, and you want to catch up if you're joining a, a kingdom like I did that was already established and I was joining late in the game. You need the speed ups to catch up. Um, I generally don't spend uh, gems on the resources, although you can. I mean, 78% off is a pretty good deal. 80% off for the 1.5 million versions. It's not bad, and generally you're going to spend more on the wheel event or something like that to get these types of resources. So these are good deals. I just, I'm not in critical need right now of this much resources. I've got basically 30 million across the board on my, my primary three and then almost 70 on my gold. Um, once I get to clan hall 25 or city hall 25, um, I'll probably have to do something like this uh, where I could use some of the resources, but um, I'll go into another video about farm accounts and, and things like that. Cause I've got another account that's got about 10 to 20 million. Um, sitting on that one too. So um, we'll go into that later though. Uh, the other thing is sculptures. So epic sculptures, um, I'm trying to level up a couple different commanders, uh, especially with Ark of Osiris. It's kind of made me speed up my process. Um, so I've been the past two weeks, I've been actually buying all the epic commander sculptures too, so that I can get a really high level primary so that I can bring a lot of troops to the field. I can have a lot of talents on the board whenever I'm using them. So Pelagius, instead of using uh, Minamoto, or um, I wouldn't recommend Chow Chow primary, but you can um, for my cavalry group. And then for my archer group, I've got Herman or Sun Tzu with uh, YSG. Um, and again, just quicker and easier to level up and max out a epic versus a legendary. Um, so I just buy these as much as possible so I can get at least three, four, five epic commanders at a very high level so that I can bring a lot more to bear on the battlefield, um, assisting my alliance, kills, all that good stuff. So definitely recommend it if that's where you're at in the game. If you're still just building up and you're just getting started or you're focusing primarily on getting your buildings up and things like that, I probably would skip that. Um, but it is a good, if you're going to spend some gems, it's, it's about 10,000 gems a week. If you use those, cause you get 50 of them every week, it's a lot of sp gems to spend, but it's not the worst way to spend them, but it's not the primary either. All right. Um, now we're talking about late game. So with gems, uh, master's blueprints, they're 2000 a pop. Uh, once you get to city hall 25, which right now I'm going to city hall 24. So this is about to me in my near future in a couple weeks, I think. Um, I'm going to need to start accumulating master's blueprints because any building in your city that you need to get to uh, level 25, you need to have a master's blueprint along with it. And those cost 2,000 gems. So you need to <laughs> you need to start saving those up. You know, I'm not, I haven't counted how many buildings are in a city, but just eyeball testing it, you're looking at at least 25, I'd imagine, something in that neighborhood, 20 to 25 plus your wall, plus your um, watchtower. So, I mean, it's a lot It's a lot of master's blueprints, which means a lot of ma a lot of gems being spent. Uh, so I would start accumulating those once you start to get to my level, which is why you see about 71,000 gems on my screen, because I'm starting to save up for those things. And uh, I, I had the recharge bundle, um, which is where I'm going to go to the next on the money portion, uh, which gave me a lot of gems once I hit Clan Hall 23, or City Hall 23. Um, other thing is arrows and books. So to level up your um, to level up your castle, you need Book of Covenants, and those are ten a pop. And right now I'm short about what is that seven hundred and thirty. <laughs> so that's seventy three hundred gems I would need to spend to get the next level of my castle. Now obviously you can get books by doing barbarian forts. Um, which I would recommend doing because it's good for XP and it's good for the books and sometimes you'll get a gold key out of it too. Um, but tedious, lots of action points being spent and um, overall just it, it's going to take you a lot of forts to get to where you need to be. So you need to be planning on spending your gems on books at some point once you get to it. Now same thing with um, 
the watchtower and I'm actually currently upgrading that right now so I can't show you but you need arrows of resistance and there's a couple places that you can get those again uh, farming barbarian forts will get them for you sometimes my main way of getting them besides the, v the VIP chests which is something I'm going to go over later um, is just doing the lohar events and the supply chest events um, whenever you're killing barbarians you get uh, a lohar necklace or you get a supply box or those types of events that drop something when you kill barbarians they generally will have a good chunk of area of resistance in them so if you're farming those especially if both of those events are happening at the same time I would burn every action point item I, I've got uh, potion wise and be killing barbs nonstop because that's going to give you a ton of arrow of resistance which you're going to need to level up your watchtower to 25 and uh, to get your academy to level 25 I'm pretty sure you need a 25 castle 25 watchtower and a couple other 25 buildings before you can do that which is going to lead to your tier 5 units which is what everybody wants so um, those are two big things that you could spend your gems on as well toward toward the end game and it wouldn't be a wasted uh, effort all right so let's move on to money money um, again if you're free to play uh, and super free to play meaning you don't spend any money this is obviously not for you but I want to talk about efficient ways to spend your real dollars your real you know whatever currency you're using um, so that you can effectively use that money for be your benefit in the game um, first and foremost I think the most especially for leveling up your commanders and things like that the most effective way to use your money is through the recharge events so there's not one currently going on right now, but sometimes there's a special event where it's five days of if you buy 2,500 gems, you get a reward. And usually those rewards are 10 sculptures, 10 stars, a bunch of resources. I mean, just really good stuff. I've never seen a bad recharge event, and it's definitely a good value for your money because to get to 2,500 gems is usually pretty easy. Um, it's usually a daily supply box and um, either two bundles or re, re, uh, recharging your um, your 30-day supply which is something we're going to go into so recharging your 30-day your supply is ten dollars and uh, the treasure of the king daily supply box is 299 so uh, for 12.98 you can have each day you can have the recharge event which is really good uh, plus you get the benefit of the actual purchase that you made um, so secondly as far as bundles go King's Coronation is first and foremost, you get the best value uh, for your, your dollars spent if you're going to be buying bundles. So the bundles, and I've already purchased the biggest one, they scale from $5 all the way up to 100 and it goes 5, 10, 20, 50, 100. So there's five bundles in the tiers. King's Coronation, you can only do it once, and that's because you get more out of this one than you do out of all the other bundles. Um, this one just gives you a few more at each tier, so it's just the best one that you can get. Um, this gives you also general speed ups and not a particular speed up. So it's not just for training or it's not just for building, it's for everything. And again, there's just inherently more value in something that's generally used versus something that's very specific. And again, this is the top tier. This is what you get for the $100 uh, portion, 25,000 gems. It looks like uh, 50 million food and uh, wood, uh, 37.5 million stone, and 20 million gold. All very useful, especially if you're training your tier 4, um, your research, I mean, um, leveling up your city hall, things like that, and then a ton of speed rush as well. Five days just for the 21 hour ones, 100 hours there, and then I'm not going to do the math for the 15 minute ones, but it's a lot. Uh, definitely worth the money, in my opinion, but again, it, it, get what you can get. I'm not telling you all to spend money. I'm not endorsed by, <laughs> by Lilith or anything, so I'm just trying to tell you how to spend your money wisely uh, and effectively without spending too much money. Um, but King's Coronation is definitely one of the best ones. The other thing that's got the most value is going to be your daily special offer. Now, I purchase this Treasure of the King every day, and the reason that I do it, legendary sculptures are so hard to come by, especially when you're really using that legendary sculpture as a main commander. And In my kingdom's case, it's Charles Martel is on this box so some command or some servers have chow chow some have other commanders this one has Charles so um, I need these sculptures in a bad way uh, I'm still only maybe halfway there for him and I've been buying these every day for about a month now 
Uh, plus you get the golden key, which is very nice. It's just a good value and you get 600 gems and VIP points. So this is a mini version of some of the super value bundles, but you get more value for your money overall, I think, because you can't buy legendary sculptures. There's nothing that, there's no options in the game that lets you buy a legendary sculpture other than the living legend bundle, which is the worst bundle in the game. Don't buy this unless you absolutely have to. I have bought this a couple times, but it was mainly to get the Tomes of Knowledge um, so that I could level up Commander right before Ark of Osiris. Otherwise, I would never touch this bundle, the Living Legend bundle. It's just terrible. Um, but the, the daily supply is, this one's a really good value. Sometimes I'll get these two just if I'm feeling lucky on the, the orange chest, but otherwise there's not really much in here that's too, too valuable, although it is a good value for the, the money you're spending, but I'd much rather just save the money that I'm spending uh, on a daily basis and use this Treasure of the King uh, to use that. So very good there. The other the other thing I definitely do every month, because again, I'm a long-term player, I want to get a good value for my money, and I'm going to be playing for a long time, is the 30-day supply, uh, the gem supply. Um, I haven't done any of the seven days yet, although I have seen a couple folks that do do it. Um, I haven't really had too much problems with resources to where I, I wasn't farming for more than another day or two um, to level up a major structure. Uh, speed ups are definitely, if I was going to do it, I probably would do it for the speed ups just because they're so valuable to me, but uh, always keeping the 30 day supply up and running and um, I definitely need to renew it. <laughs> it's coming up in a couple days. I'm hoping a recharge event will pop up in the next couple days so that I can renew it using that and that'll be one of my days that I'm going I'm to buy it anyway. So um, the other thing would be growth fund. So there's a couple ways to do this. Again, I've already got Clan Hall or City Hall 23. Once I hit 25, I'll get another 40,000. I, I wasn't, I'm not really too concerned about that one, although I'll take the gem certainly. But the first set of these was very important for me to get as high as I got in the short amount of time that I did. Um, especially once I hit City Hall 23, that was able to get me um, a lot more troops, get me speed ups, get me all kinds of stuff that we just went over. Um, in the gem section to get me to where I needed to be to get um, a good value for my money. And, and I think it's 15 bucks for this, fourteen ninety nine for the growth fund. And you get, what is that, 57, 66, no, 60, 65, 66. Um, I mean, you get around 70,000, uh, 70,000 gems. And then another 40,000 once you hit level 25. So, um, Good value, again, for because if you're going to get 70,000 gems in the gem store, even with first purchase, you're looking at 150 bucks. I mean, it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of money. So good value for what you're doing there, and um, overall good stuff. Um, so I would definitely do that. The other thing would be um, the bundles. Again, I would rank the bundles like this. So once you've done King's Coronation, that's your first and foremost if you've got the cash. Otherwise, City of Hope is going to be your primary because you get more resources per dollar spent and it doesn't give you gold. So if you need gold, you're tier five and you're leveling up your, your tier five research or you're trying to heal your tier five troops, um, this might not be the best one, but um, for everybody below that point, which is the majority of us, right? Uh, City of Hope is gonna give you the best bang for your buck because er unless you've finished your building everything, which is usually the last thing people finish, um, you're gonna be able to use all these speed ups, Definitely you can use all the resources, the VIP points, and the gems. So this is your best value, City of Hope. The next one I go to is, um, is War Machine. And uh, that's because I need, I need training troops in a worse way. Now, I know there's a better value um, if you go over here, right? So resource-wise, there's more resources there, but there's no speed-ups. But if you go to Fountain of Wisdom, you get 10 per. Um, War Machine, you get 12 per. And City of Hope, you get 13 per. So City of Hope, War Machine, Fountain of Wisdom, Resource Reserves, and then finally I would do Living Legend. And Living Legend just does not have any value. You're getting, for for even the $5 one, you're getting blue stars. Like, who needs blue stars? Um, 70,000 XP is okay, but it's not worth $5. Um, you're really buying the VIP points and the gems for that money. And then once you start scaling that one up, it's just, it's not very good. Even the top tier, you're getting like 10 stars, 10 legendary stars. You're still getting blue and green 
stars. Um, no sculpture, a couple sculptures, like two or, two or three legendary sculptures, which is for a hundred dollars, it's crazy. Uh, and you get like maybe six to eight golden keys, which again is crazy. I mean, there's, they're just not worth that much for a hundred dollars. So living legend just needs to be reworked. I would not buy living legend unless I absolutely had to, which I just did uh, for Ark of Osiris to get my commander to level 50. So I could five, uh, six star uh, Richard. Um, and then the last thing for gems is VIP chests. So you're all familiar with Minimoto, Minimoto um, and how you get him. So you got to buy these gold special privileges chests. You can only buy them once. And they're pretty good values for what you're getting. Um, there's, these are usually anywhere between $0.99 cents and 5 to $20. The upper ones, once you get to VIP 8, 9, and 10, are 20 50 and 100 That's where you get the bulk of your actual sculptures. Or I'm sorry, uh, 7, 8, and 9. Uh, is where you get the bulk of your sculptures. So 270 there, 150 there, 100 there, and then they start going down. But this is also a good spot to get your Books of Covenant. So Book of Covenant and your uh, Arrow of Resistance. Let's see if I can find it. Eventually. There you go. <laughs> Arrow of Resistance. Um, these are good for, again, upgrading your Watchtower and your Castle. But good values here because it, this is the cheapest commander that you can get in the game, legendary-wise. And he's a good commander. He's one, he's one of the best if not the best legendary uh, cavalry commander in the game, short of uh, some of the new ones that just came out, which are about to be nerfed. So we don't know what's going to happen with those. But cheapest legendary commander in the game, definitely would recommend, if you're going to spend some money into the game, everybody's going to need a, a cavalry commander. Everybody. Um, whether you're going to be focusing on infantry or not, you're still going to need a cavalry army to go be mobile on the field, especially in Arco Osiris. You need mobility. So I would recommend getting Minamoto for sure. Uh, I just got him, again, for Ark of Osiris maxed out. Um, otherwise, I've just been, whenever i got some extra cash in my pocket, I'll go ahead and toss it or if I'm feeling a little spendy, um, I'll go ahead and do that too. So uh, overall, I think it's about 200 bucks roughly uh, to get him, $215. I haven't done the math, and I really didn't want to because I don't know want to know how much I spent there. Um, but it's around that mark. All right, so that's money. Um, last thing I want to talk about is expedition. So this is kind of one of those hidden gems that, people don't really realize has the value that it does. So when you're going through this, you're obviously getting legendary sculptures, which is fantastic. It's the best thing in the game that you can get for yourself is legendary sculptures and epic sculptures. Um, but every day this resets and lets you collect any three-star expedition that you've done. And it gives you the coins to go into the shop and purchase stuff. Now I had racked up about fifty to sixty thousand coins at one point um, in anticipation of buying this whenever it actually pops. This still has not popped. I don't know when it's gonna pop. Uh, eventually they're gonna make this available I'm assuming so that it'll it'll either be a legendary commander kinda like the commander of the week for the epic portion there might be a commander of the week for the legendary as well or it could just be a, um, a universal one. I don't know. Nobody knows yet because it's not unlocked for anybody. Um, that being said, it got to the point again where I needed to get some of my commanders a little bit stronger for Ark of Osiris. And I needed to have a primary cavalry commander that was easier and cheaper to level up. So Pelagius was our guy. And I uh, went ahead and spent all my coins on him, which was a thousand apiece, which you see up here on the top left. Um, this rotates every week. It can be Sun Tzu, Boudicca, Joan of Arc, Pelagius, Eulogy, um, you know, any of the other epic commanders. And um, I always buy the, if there's a legendary sculpture, which does happen from time to time, although of course it tends to happen on my farm account, um, I will buy those. Those are 2,500 gems. Um, I will buy any of the stars. So if it's a, this was a legendary sculpture, or no, this was an epic sculpture. Um, if it's an epic or a legendary star, I will get it. Um, or if it's a sculpture for a commander that I'm leveling. So like right now, Pelagius, I'm trying to get him maxed out. I think I'm maybe 100 away. So I'm spending my, co my coins in there so that I can get him maxed out and on the battlefield um, to be the most effective. Um, that really is it for that part. Um, I will sometimes also do... Uh, XP tomes. It's not a bad idea to again get another avenue to get more XP because it takes tens of millions of XP to max a character out. Um, for a legendary, I think it's 2.8 million per level 
from 50 to 60. And then before that, it scales up to that number. And I mean, it's got to be at least 50 to 100 million uh, XP from start to finish. I'd say about 50 million uh, for a legendary and then probably 30 to 40 uh, for an epic. Uh, and then you do still need to upgrade your um, your your blue commanders because those are your gatherers. Those are your mobility characters for your cavalry troops. I mean, there's there's a lot of XP that's needed in this game. And anytime I see one where I don't have to physically put money down to buy it, I usually get it just because it's a commodity. It's a really hard commodity to come by uh, in the volume that you need. So um, that's what I definitely do. I uh, hope this guide was helpful. I know it was a lot longer than I planned on it being. I wanted it to be like a 15, 20 minute video, but I got really in depth with it. Um, I wanted it to be kind of a one-stop shop guide for you to spend your cash, spend your gems, spend your resources, and how to buy in the expedition shop. If you've got any questions or any comments, please leave them in the boxes below. I'm really looking forward to bringing you guys more content as I'm able to. Um, really enjoy doing these videos for you all, and uh, please like and subscribe. I, I enjoy doing these things for you, and I look forward to hearing uh, your feedback. Um, hope you all have a great day, and cheers. Take care.